Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. As you know, on this program, your professor regularly makes comments that are based on years of experience. Years of making every mistake, some of them twice and three times. Every rule I pontificate about in this program, short of the one about having children, that one I fortunately did not break, every rule is based on having made those mistakes. I don't see myself as better than the people who call in or better than the people who listen. I just have more experience than many of them. And I have learned from my experience and actually codified rules that will prevent you from getting into the same trouble I got myself into. Many of the things I say on this program are based solely on experience. I am not a social scientist. I'm not an anthropologist. I'm not a researcher or a, in, in the true sense, a university professor. I'm a professor of Poon, of course. But uh, I am not a tenured professor at a university. So uh, many times you hear me say things on the air and you say, where'd you get that from? And I say, well, I get it from a lifetime of experience. But as you know on this program, many times... Scientific facts come out that document and therefore prove that what your professor says is true. It's right. It works. This from Men's Health Magazine. I want to thank a listener who sent this in. Men's Health Magazine. It's on menshealth.com. And it's... Uh, a piece of information that will confirm something I've been telling you for a long time. Here it is. In a column called Monday's Daily Dose, a listener noticed that at the top it says why men should get hitched after 25. Apparently thought it would be about your professor. Turns out it was about science. And I will read to you from menshealth.com. It says, why no man should marry before age 25. And I hope all you guys who are engaged in 19, all you military guys especially, are listening to what I'm about to say. It says here, quite simply, a man's brain is incomplete before then, meaning 25. Sure, his sexual organs are all present and accounted for. But his prefrontal cortex, or PFC, is still developing, which is too bad, because that's the part of his brain that's involved in judgment, impulse control, organization, planning, forethought, and learning from mistakes. And it won't be fully developed until he is, guess what, 25. Now, we've been telling the boys not to get married until age 25 or later for years. But here is scientific evidence that getting married before 25 is not only a bad decision because you're not fully developed, but that the decision to get married is affected by an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex because that's what helps your judgment, your impulse control, and your planning ability. It also helps your ability to learn from mistakes. So the very decision to get married before age 25 is a bad decision, and it's based on your prefrontal cortex not being fully developed. So although you are old enough to vote, old enough to get married, old enough to have a drink, old enough to smoke cigarettes, old enough to get into a porn flick, if there are any porn theaters still out there, one thing is for sure. Your brain is not ready. You are not ready to get married by age 25. You're not. We keep telling the boys not to do it. We keep hearing from the boys who do. I keep telling you, you also have nothing to gain by getting married at any age. But certainly before age 25. Now that you've heard this latest piece of information, does it change your mind at all? Do you... Think you can think about what I'm telling you? Do you think you can be objective about this? Before age 25, we are frequently ruled by our genitalia. 
And by the way, uh, men are always ruled to a certain extent by our genitalia. But before age 25, it really affects our ability to make decisions that are good for ourselves. Many times we do things that are not in our own best interests. Because we want some poon. Many of you call in here and say, I'm getting married because she's a good piece of ass. You can get a good piece of ass without getting married. You can get a good piece of ass without saying, I love you. And without getting married, you can have as many pieces of ass as you can handle. Why in the world would any of you want to get married before age 25? Some like it. 1-800-585-800. You do a wonderful job at roping us gals in, suckering us into your song, and bending us over slowly. It's amazing. And you all hate each other. It's so easy. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Philip on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, man, you know, I, I just wanted to make a comment about that last thing you said. You know, I totally understand what you're saying, man. I, this is what I did. I was 20 years old, you know, still young, but I got with this girl. She was about two years older with me than me. She had two kids, you know. reason I got with her because, you know, she put out. You know, I was thinking with my other head. Man, that was the worst three years of my life. A while back. Eh. Oh, man, you know, we were talking about marriage. And, you know, women are vindictive. They are. And finally, my older brother came and visited me down in Oregon. He's like, hey, you need to listen to this guy. Like, who, who are we listening to? I said, Tom. So I started listening, and one day I just woke up and kicked her to the curb. I like, love that. Nah, I'm done. So now I'm with my... By the way, by the way, how did she react when you kicked her? She was a little pissed off. Took the car, took everything from her. I was like, Shh, you're done. You're cut off. You're that. acting too stupid. But anyways, I'm with my girl now. You know, I found myself a nice little... I'm 26. I found myself a nice little 20-year-old Mexican girl from a small town. She take care of me. She just... Just this weekend, she told, she got my car fixed. I mean, she got the tuna put on. I mean, she did it all. I mean, she about to break pocket next month, too. I mean, but she was talking about marriage a couple weeks ago. And I had to let her know from the get-go. I'm like, uh-uh. There ain't no marriage involved. I ain't getting married. Uh-uh. You know, these women are crazy. All they want to think about is that little piece of paper. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you ever, <laughs> did you ever know that uh, the scientific fact existed about getting married before age 25? Uh, no, I didn't. You know, men are brought up, you know, women and men, nowadays these kids, they're brought up to just have kids and just keep having kids. I mean, I got one out of wedlock, and this is the biggest mistake I ever had. Biggest mistake. I love my son, but man, women, all they want is that child support. They're vindictive. That's right. I mean, Tom, us young bucks should be listening to you more often. I mean, enough of us listen to you, but we don't hear you. We don't hear what you're saying. Oh, they say, oh, Tom's, Tom don't know what he's talking about. Tom's just crazy. Man, you are right on. Just right on. Everything you say is right on. I'm glad we can help you. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Hey, you do me a favor? Yeah. Take me out of old school with a bong. Here you go. <coughs> Cast us on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Cassius. Yes, Tom. Oh, you busy over there? Sorry to interrupt. No, I didn't hear you. You couldn't hear me? Yeah. Are you, I'm not loud enough for you? I don't know. No, it's good. So, Cape Town Sackers, Dad. Yes. Huh? Go, what, what did you want to say here? I'm asking 
Cape Town Shackersy. I I don't understand. You don't understand Lithuanian? No, I don't. Oh, I thought you do. No, my grandfather is from Lithuania, but I've never been there. Oh, I see. You should go there. And you think so, I should? Yes, you should. Because there's best girls. Really? Oh, yeah. I've never heard that. Believe me. The Russians are hottest and Lithuanians are beautiful. Well, uh, hot girls is uh, always a good thing. <laughs> Not always, but most. Uh -huh. Now, uh, what did you want to say? I have, like, I'm thinking to get married, but I don't know. I'm 21, and I don't know what to do. Like, she's also the Lithuanian. I like almost everything about her, but I've been... But what do you need to be? What do you need to be married for? I don't. I don't need to, like you're saying, to get that paper. But she really wants to get that. So thing. who cares what she wants? Probably nobody. But why should you care? But like, if I'm gonna be with her and she's not gonna be 100 percent happy, I think we both. Well, it's be too. Happy. It's too. You're too young to marry anybody. Also true, but... How about this scientific fact I read to you? I think this is right. Just so, you, you, so you acknowledge it's possible your ability to make good decisions is not developed, that your brain is not developed enough to be married. Yeah, I agree. But you're going to do it anyway. No, I'm not saying that I'm going to do it anyway. But you would consider doing it. There is no reason to do it. None. Really? Really? But what if I'm going to lose her and not going to find... You can love somebody without signing a contract. You love her now, don't you? Yeah. Well, you're not married, are you? No. Getting married will not make you love her. You do love her. No, I'm not saying that I'm going to love her more. Or I don't think that for me... You're going to love her I... more if you sign a contract. No. For, for my side, no. Nothing going to change. If I lock you in a jail cell with her, uh, would you love her even more? No. Well, that's my point. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. No, I'm agreeing with you, and I'm saying it's not going to change anything for me. So then why do it? But you don't think that both should be happy? Pal, the only person's happiness you should be worrying about is you. So uh, I really shouldn't do never this. No. Okay then, you got me. <laughs> Just do what's good for you. Okay. I'm agreeing with you, and I'll do it this way. All right. Stop worrying about what other people want. Worry about what you need, and you do not need to be married. Okay. All right. Can it take me Kobe style? Kobe style. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Give me a beat to my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Robert. <laughs> East L.A. Coming from East L.A., I had a question for you, Tom. Now, I know one of your number one rules are do not date anybody that has a kid. That's Correct. one of the number one rules. The second one is try to stay away from American girls, right? Correct. At all costs. Now, this well, one is well obviously, kid. sometimes you may not have a girl born somewhere else available to you. Uh, but these girls are for booty call purposes and only with a condom. Exactly. Now, there's a little twist to this, though, because I, I met a girl. She's not American. She was born in Mexico. She's only been here three years. Uh, and she has a kid. She's only 20, though. The kid's three years old. Her old man was killed. He was a drug trafficker. He was killed. I didn't get into the details of that, but he's, he's no longer here. So you, have, you, would have to, you would have to admit that this yes. person has a history of making mistakes. 
Right. Making bad decisions about her life. Right. And therefore would probably drag you in on some of those. Yeah, but she was only 16, and, uh, I, you know, uh, I mean, 16 is practically a baby, you know. And ever since, she has not slept with anybody else. She hasn't had a boyfriend since four years. She's just been taking care of her kids. She's really responsible. She's a nice girl. Um, but it's one of those things where, you know, those, this girl will take care of you. She cooks, she cleans, she cooks, she does everything. However, it's that kid thing, you know, it's like, mm, you know. And she's already talking about marriage, Tom. I haven't even kissed her yet. No. 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 Can you imagine? No. Then, uh, but by the way, you're telling this to me. You, you're acting like you're surprised. But you're telling it to me because you're actually considering it. Well, I, the only reason I'm considering it, Tom, is that you don't find this too often here. A 20-year-old girl that's already, like, really mature, and she's a hot little body. Thin girl. She's no fat on her whatsoever. She can cook. She cleans. That's all she knows how to do is cook and clean and stay at home. That's it. Well, so you say that, out. but she had time to go out and meet a drug dealer who was murdered and get knocked up by him. So, you right. know, your, de your description is based on the little knowledge of her that you have. And she, of course, is putting her best foot forward to get you to sign the deal. Yeah, so you're... you're... Are you there? Lost him. Chloe on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, I didn't hear you say my name. Um, I just wanted to say that, like, everybody who gets married at any age is probably in denial, I mean, about a lot of things, but mostly about what they're doing. So that was my only opinion on that. Uh, that that's it? Well, basically, well, I, okay. I had more, but it's... I don't know how long you want to go into it. Well, I'll cut you off when I'm bored. Go no, ahead. No, don't cut off. Okay. Um, I was going to say, like, when you get into a car, you, you have to get into a car to do anything in L.A., but you're not taking into account the fact that you could be getting into a car accident, that your chances are actually relatively high of going and, you know, running into another car or something, and you could die. A lot of people, they go like 80 miles an hour, they could die. People who get into a marriage, they're doing the same thing. But now let's look at this. You're much more likely to get divorced than to have a car accident. Really? Yeah. I totally did not. Well, let's, let's look at it this way. One out of two marriages ends in divorce. Hmm. How many, uh, out of how many car trips would you have taken before you have an accident? Yeah, that's true. And it never ends. Yet, yet amazingly, you have car insurance, but most people are against having marriage insurance, which would be a prenuptial agreement. What's a, uh, what's a postnuptial? Do you know anything about those? I do. They don't have the same standing as a prenuptial agreement. Uh, and so generally, they are afterthoughts. After people get married, they go, hey, we should have done this. But uh, clearly, um, you know, <laughs> if you're already married, uh, what kind of negotiation is that? Well, it kind of ruins the romance of it to have a post-nuptial. I'm just a regular girl, and I think that that ruins the romance of it. So I was thinking if you could have a post-nuptial a couple weeks after the honeymoon, it would be far more, more I don't know, romantic. <laughs> it would seem like the marriage was more substantial and the agreement was less substantial, I guess. Well, um, again, I think that um, uh, people are very unrealistic. When you look at the odds of a successful marriage, and it's like people going to Las Vegas, all of whom think they're going to win. Everybody who goes to Vegas, yeah, I'm feeling lucky. I'm going to win. I'm going and I'm betting and I'm going to win. I've got a system. I'm going to win. I know other people are losers, but I'm going to win. And it's the same thing with marriage. The same. Yeah, well, I guess that's what I was saying. That's all. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. You, you say it better than I do. I should just let you say it. <laughs> By the way, Tom, I wanted to let you know I find your voice very soothing. I sit and listen to you all the time. I love that. Yep. Thank you for the call. Right. Thank you. Let's say hello here to uh, Darren on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. All right, Tom. So how are you doing, mate? I'm doing great. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, um, yeah uh, short time listener, first time caller. I thought I'd give you a buzz. I'm having a little bit of trouble with my girlfriend at the moment. We've been, uh, we've been thinking about getting hitched, and, uh, but she's acting a bit weird. 
And uh, I just want to know your advice on it, really. Well, uh, my question to you is the same question I ask everybody who's thinking about that. What's in it for you? In it for me? Well, she's a good girl, you know what I mean? She looks well, up. she'll be a good girl whether or not you sign a contract. So what's in it for you that you're not already getting? Um... I, I don't know, probably just a little bit of security, you know. Uh, Pal, you, you have no security. And you know why marriage doesn't provide security? I've been divorced four times, take it from me. Because okay. it's so easy to get a divorce. Of course. That's There's scary. no security in getting married. The only thing, uh, the only security you have is you're pretty much guaranteed that she's going to take half of everything you earn. Yeah. That's the only security you have. You see, well, I was pretty positive about what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to get married and everything else and have the kids, but since I've been listening to you, you know, you've sort of maybe opened my eyes a little bit, and I've never really heard anybody like yourself before on the radio, you know. And, you know, me and my friends have been discussing the way you look at it and the way we look at it, and we just can't come up with the reasoning why you, you look at it as you do. Uh, and the reason I look at it the way I do, and I'll explain it to you. Yeah, you see, everything you do in life should benefit you. Everything. Okay. That you, getting married doesn't give you anything you don't already get. You have sex. You love her. You like hanging out with her. She's your companion. Signing a contract that guarantees her half of everything you make, it will not give you any benefits that you aren't already getting. So what was if I was to go into the marriage, you know, sign the prenup, get everything, so if we do break up, God forbid one day, then I'm not going to lose anything financially. I'm willing to bet you've never even said the word prenup to her. Well, no, because it's, it's not really what, you know what I mean? As you can probably tell, I've got a bit of an accent, you know, that's a little bit of an American thing, a prenup. So, uh, well, they, well, you, uh, well, you're living in America, and you're likely to get divorced in America. And then uh, you're going to find out why you need a prenup. Yeah, of course. Because, remember, it doesn't matter where you're from. It matters where you get divorced. Yeah. So, uh, it, you know, wherever you come from, maybe prenups are not a custom. But yeah. I'll bet uh, guys getting gouged in the pocketbook is also not a custom. No, no, no not, not really. No, only oh. if you have a kid, then you lose everything. Yeah, that's but, um, point. I've got another quick thing for you as well. She never answered her cell phone. What do you reckon about that? <laughs> What's the deal there, you know what I mean? Well, did you ask her? Uh, I do, but uh, she's like, well, you know, I have, I have the phone on. If I see I miss a call, I'll return it. You know, I'm like, well, you know, you've got a cell phone, so you haven't, you know, you can have, use the home line, but it means you've got to stay at home all the time. You've got a cell phone, so you can take it with you, and you're contactable 24-7. But, uh, I don't know, I'm just wondering if that's a female way of looking at it, or if, you know... Well, I'll put it this way, I'll bet if she wants to, why, why does she have a cell phone? I have no idea. No idea. And who's so, paying for it? Oh, she pays for it. Yeah, she pays for it. I don't pay for nothing, man. You know yeah? What I mean? Ever see your phone bill? No. <laughs> you know, maybe you want to get a look at that. What, a phone bill? Yeah. No, oh, no, I don't, I don't know. I think I trust her enough that, you know, she probably, I know, I know. Well, if you, pal, don't, don't lie to me. If you trusted her, you wouldn't yeah. be asking me a question like that. Yeah, it was, it was a you asked me why she doesn't answer her cell phone, a and the reason you're asking me is because you think she's with other guys, and she might be. Possibly. Yeah, so it's not that you trust, you're not asking me that question because you trust her. I'm asking you just to confirm what I may think. But, but again, don't, don't start giving me this load of BS that you trust her. Because if you trusted her, you wouldn't be worried about why she doesn't pick up the phone. No. Nah. And okay. you might have reason to be concerned about that. I Drinks Jack Daniels and Coke as well. Well, and you know what I've said about that. Oh, uh, I know what you said about that. Keep away from the Jack and Coke drinkers. Yeah, I, does she drink Jack and Coke when you're not around? Uh, no, usually when I'm around. But when I'm not around, then she just drinks Jack straight. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and where do, where does she drink it? At home, or does she go out and drink it? Oh, no, she goes out and drinks it. She doesn't drink in the house. Pal, can I tell you something? Any woman that goes out to bars and drinks Jack Daniels by herself when you're not around is not marriage material. Period. Period. And she's from Florida. Well, I have a lot of girls from Florida, I told you, that's why I had that experience in Miami. It was Jack Daniels and Southern Comfort. Oh, uh, yeah, but, but believe me, women who sit at the bar alone drinking Jack Daniels or Southern Comfort... Uh, there's only yeah. one thing they're there for, to meet yeah. guys. Oh, okay. So I it's not marriage think. material you're talking about. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll just keep her as she is at the minute. Just as exactly. 
that that is all she is. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the gentle way of telling someone they've gotten fat. Oh, I'm worried about your health, honey. Baloney, you're worried about having to look at that person naked. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like it show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Grace. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I just had an observation, and I wanted to ask you a question. The first thing is, you get a lot of unintelligent women who call in, which is just a, a really sad thing for, for me to hear. Um, secondly, I wanted to ask you, you talk about, um, you know, what's in it for the guy when they get married. Well, what about if the, the gal is making, you know, a six digit income a year that's, that's how often does that happen and by the way i might add most women who earn six figure incomes mm -hmm. are bitches i probably have to agree with you because they have to be to to earn that kind of money but you know i i don't consider myself a bitch and i don't i i, I we're, we're not the, this show is not about grace it's about women in general here i understand that but you know i i know my, my husband loves listening to you and he just found out that you're on in vegas as well because that's where we live and we're actually going home but um, he said that you had some thoughts on marrying professionals, and I just wanted to know what that was. And yes, was uh, if, I, there, why would I need to marry you if you don't get home from work before I do? Why would you need to marry me? Right. In other words, if I come home to an empty house, mm -hmm. that's what I have when I'm unmarried. True. Why do I need to be married to you? Well, what if you, you're, what if I made more money than you and I could get you all the toys that you needed too? Uh, you know what? Uh, I don't need that. Now, there might be uh, construction workers or uh, guys who go boop, boop, boop at Ralph's all day long running things over the scanner who, who need that. But I'm not one of those guys. I have a very fulfilling career, and I don't need to be with someone else who has a fulfilling career. You know what? I can date people like that as a booty call. You know, when I have time, when you have time, we'll get together. But I don't need somebody who is out when I come home. They don't necessarily have to be not home when they come generally home. are, dear. You know what? I've been there, done that. I understand that. There was a but woman I, I there was a woman I once dated who worked in television who would call me when she got home at eleven PM <laughs> and she wanted to get married. And you said no. <laughs> what do I oh, you're a booty call. Hello? You are not marriage material. You're out until 11 p.m. Well, what about the guys who did this, though? I mean, what, what would you have to say for? Your, dear, your phone is cutting out, and I'm having a hard time understanding you. You've got to turn your head or something with the phone. No, sorry. I've been through the, on the 15th, so I might be cutting out. But what about the guys who... who all right, Dean is going to try to get a better connection because it's unlistenable. But I will just say to you, in short, um, that there's no benefit to me to marrying somebody who gets home after I do. And the fact that you would make more money than I do or that some other guy, hey. Um, so what are you saying? That you're going to pay a boy toy to be employed as your husband in name only? Uh, guys do not want to come home from work to an empty, to a dark house. We don't. We don't need to get married. If, if that's all you can provide us, we don't need that. You would make a wonderful booty call late at night. But you're not marriage material. You're not. Dana, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, is life hurting you these days? Is what? How is life putting you this day? Great. Business has never been better. Oh, fabulous. Okay. I've been listening to you just because I love to hear you talking about what guys think, right? Right. I have a question. Like, when a guy go out with a girl, and why do we have to know how to cook for sure? I mean, why should we know how to cook or how to clean? Because if you want a husband, that's what you're going to have to know how to do. Okay, listen to me, babe. There is always a maid there to do those. Really? Uh, by the way, that word you can't use on the air, dear. 
Okay. It, it, uh, no matter how cute you think your accent is, that word is not going to fly on the air. Okay. Um, uh, dear, uh, first of all, everybody doesn't have a maid. We're talking, you you're talking that? about guys with power, right? I'm talk well, Put it this way. Even guys who make $300,000 a year, maids are expensive in this country. They're not cheap. Okay, let me tell you one thing. When you go out, you yourself, whatever, how many gorgeous natural girls are out in L.A.? There are a few. There are just handful girls who are just natural. Dear, gorgeous. L.A. has more hot women than any other city I, in America. I believe you, but they're all fake. <laughs> Uh, dear, uh, I really don't care if they're fake, because you know what? Everybody's fake now. 60% of the women in America, not there L.A. No, no, no. Listen go. to me. Listen to me. Let me finish. 60% of the women in America dye their hair now. Okay. 60. Uh, women are fake all over America. But there are some parts of the country where they're just fatter and ugly. Okay? Okay. Can I talk now? <laughs> For example, I go out and I love to meet guys who are powerful. It's just turn me on, okay? Bye. But when you go out with them, okay, the first night, second night, they still want to go out. Then that's why. Why? Why is that then? They still want to go out with you because you're just naturally gorgeous. When you wake up, you don't need makeup. What are you talking about? Okay. Guys will go out with you if you're naturally gorgeous. They'll go out with you if you're unnaturally gorgeous. The whole world knows Pam Anderson has implants, and every guy's hot for her. No, they don't. Oh, please. She's, yeah. she's old. Please, dear, give me a break. Dear, but put it this way. For my taste, I agree with you. She is old. But Everyone she's still... Ex that. I'm talking everybody about doesn't that. say that. If they did, she wouldn't be getting TV shows. She wouldn't be appearing in magazines. She wouldn't be on The Tonight Show. Believe me. Uh, even though I happen to agree with you, everybody doesn't feel that way. We live in L.A., okay? We go out here. I'm not talking about other places. I'm talking, I'm about, talking about here. And I'm talking about guys who go out here all the time, who can get to good clubs, who we meet, okay? So when a guy wants to go out with me, I, I get bored really easy, okay? Uh -huh. The only problem, the only, way, the only reason I'm talking to you right now is this because I listen to you, I enjoy it, because you talk how people are inside. Because guys, they don't tell you everything. They just want to get you in bed, and they would say anything, right? They're never themselves, so I enjoy talking to you. But when you say they just want you for one night or two nights, they just want to bang you, that's true. I totally agree with that. But if we want something more, they would love to do it just because they want to stay with us more. Uh, dear, uh, you know, who are all these guys who are staying with you? I don't care what they tell you they're going to do. You don't sound to me like you've had a relationship with anybody. No, I, I'm not really into relationships. I well, that's my I point. You, so you, have, no, uh, so you have no idea what these guys would do if but they were I'm in a relationship. You don't I'm know. Them. I don't I'm care not. what they say to you. You don't know what they would do in a relationship because you haven't been in I one with them. Yeah, listen to me. I, you I know what? I, I, I don't care. I got a problem. I'm 20 years old, married, and I have a kid. That's two problems. And I got another one, too. That's three. Uh, last night, me and my best friend's wife hooked up. That's four and five. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Is our telephone number Maria on the Tom Likas show? Hello. Hi. Um, there's a couple things that I don't agree with the things that you say, but that's beside the point. I want to ask you something. Um, I ha I'm not married, but uh, my partner, I guess, and I, we have my boy. And I, we have two children. Okay, we've been together for about six years, and and we have a five year old and a four month old. We are planning to get married, but we're kind of both unsure just about the whole idea of getting married. Do you think that would hurt or help us? <laughs> we're fine. We don't need to get married, but... I think it helps your kids. I don't think it helps you. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously, yeah, it helps our children. But um, I just wanted to know, like, what some statistics are of people in my situation. 
Well, I don't have those, but I can tell you that uh, it's just my opinion that uh, your kids benefit from having two parents by having the same last name. Um, I don't think you benefit from getting married except to say that if you get divorced, you can take him for half of everything he's ever earned, for God's sake. The Tom Likas Show.